Hello. Hello, and welcome to this exciting taste challenge. Johnny Walker Blue Label. Oh, this is going to count for Monday's taste challenge, so let me update my proliferation. Check off Monday. Done day. All right, so this afternoon taste challenge features Johnny Walker Blue Label. Introduced around 1992. There it is on the box. Royal Warrant. It's, this is produced by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen Scotch Whiskey Distillers, Johnny Walker, John Walker and Sons, London, Limited London. So it is going into competition with another whiskey that's produced under a Royal Warrant, and that's Dewar's Blended Scotch Whiskey. The three Ds. John, John Boy, and Tommy Dewar. All right, this particular Dewar is, now Dewar is back from 1846, but this particular Dewar is, is from 2019. Remember 2019, back when people were free in a relative sense? Illegal Smooth, produced by Bacardi Limited. You said, no, it's Dewar's. Yeah, well, Bacardi bought Dewar's years ago in collaboration with Illegal Mezcal, the Mezcal company. Vendor oh, 66, fantastic understudy, says happy Friday. All right, happy Friday to you. So Johnny Walker Blue Label in the fancy tactile rubberized box with the magnetic, magnetic opening. All right. And there's a big essay on the box. It's in a gold, gold sparkly interior with a felt bottom and top felt. So it's fancy. It's fancy. It better be fancy. It cost me two hundred and forty-two dollars after tax, but it was two twenty-six plus tax. Okay. So what do they say about the blue label? They handpick one out of every 10,000 casks of the rarest whiskeys from the four corners of Scotland to craft, craft an unrivaled masterpiece, they claim. Only these select casks contain whiskeys with the particular qualities fine enough for a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue Label. In commemoration of Walker's original 1867 Old Highland whiskey blended today. Now, what is Old Highland called today? They still make Old Highland, yeah. But today it's called Red Label. Johnny Walker Red Label. All right. So there you go. $226 plus tax. But, this, but most of the stores around here have it for $269 to $299. So I actually got a deal on it. So there you, there you go. Johnny Walker Blue Label. Whoa, enjoying this. Thank you, uh, Rivzor. Rivstock Rivzor. Blue label with its rope on the back. The rope is to bust open the uh, the foil cap cover to get to the cap. Plastic cap with a cork. I think this cork needs to be moisturized. They'll dry rot. So we'll hold it upside down for a minute. found that out to my disgust. I had a, a 1983 eight-year aged wild turkey 101 and I pulled the cork and it broke because it was dry rotting and all the all the cork fell into the bourbon. So I had to, had to um, filter it all out. It was irritating. D for doers. Okay, so you're going to go here, and they call it blue label because it's literally a blue label with gold trim, and it's a blue bottle. You see that blue glass bottle? Blue glass. So there you go. Look at that deep gold. 
We don't know how old it is because honestly, it's a blend of many different whiskeys, some of which are over 50 years old. They say on the Johnny Walker website, they had they bought out whiskey companies that had gone out of business, like they bought barrels from whiskey companies or old closed down distilleries that still had the barrels on site from over 50 years ago. And the whiskey had just been sitting, you know, resting in those barrels. I say this is a plastic cap, but I think maybe it's it doesn't, it feels like maybe it's wooden, wood, I don't know. Anyway, a blend of our rarest whiskeys. Bottle number FF7, space two, three, three, eight, three. Our blend cannot be beat. Established 1820, so there you go. Most expensive whiskey I ever bought so far. <laughs> Put the cap on the side, the foil cap cover. Now the doers. Oh, well, David Garland P. bought this for me. He's my occasional review partner. I have others, too. But he's the main occasional one. Nice gold. This is $19.99 at Total Wine. $19.99 at Total Wine and more. How much is the Johnny Walker Blue Label? They don't, they don't even have it listed on their website as being available, so they don't even have it. Don't even have it. But they got a lot of expensive whiskeys at Total Wine. Don't fool yourself. They got whiskeys and rums that's three, four, five hundred dollars a bottle, and that's the truth. Okay, so y'all go over there. I'm gonna put the blue label back in its special casket, <laughs> like a vampire. You know, you go back into the casket, back into the coffin. Oops, forgot the cap cover. You go back into the coffin and all of that. And we'll visit you in about eight months or whatever, six months. All right, maybe less. Revisit. Appearance. Well, honestly, it's about the same. They're both deep gold. And that's nice, deep gold. They both got nice uniform alcohol legs, the drippings. Now, if the Dewar's is $20, $20 a bottle, and the Johnny Walker is $226, you would hope that the blue label look for the union label. You would hope that the blue label would easily win, but don't get fooled because I'm not thinking that. I hope that, I hope that, but I do not believe that. Do you know when I did a video review solo, I gave the Johnny Walker a 95 out of 100. You know what I gave the doers? Illegal Mezcal, Illegal Smooth, Illegal Smooth, a 94 out of 100. So for all that money, all that money, The Blue Label only scored one percentage point higher. I do honest reviews, and I never claimed I did good reviews. I never claimed I did accurate reviews. I never claimed I did, what you say, politically correct reviews or any of those things. All I ever said was I did honest, look at my web, my, my uh, channel page. It says, honest beer, wine, and liquor reviews since 2010. That's all I say. I never said anything else. I mean, make no other claims. Make no claims of expertise or anything like that. Or quality. Brandon. It's Brandon Dvorak. Got me some proper 12 hours whiskey for the fight tomorrow. You should review it. Wasn't a fan of Johnny Walker Black. Wasn't a fan of Johnny Walker Black, you meant to say. Well, I've never had Johnny Walker Black, so I can't comment on it. I've never had proper 12, although I heard it's a proper whiskey. I know it's made at Bush Mills for the... Uh, for the fighter guy. And um, it is made in Northern Ireland at Bushmills, proper 12. I'm pretty sure Bushmills knows what they're doing. They, their first whiskey came, their first whiskey came onto the market in 1784. 1784, the first Bushmills branded whiskey hit the market. Kind of probably, probably got a little handle on it, you know. Uh, 
doers. They've been making whiskey since 1846. Yeah, they probably have some kind of expertise in that area. Johnny Walker been making whiskey since 1820. Well, that's when the company started. They actually didn't start making until 1860, 1867, but they were involved in it, buying whiskey and selling it to other people. And um, well, it actually started as a grocery store, but you know, let's say 1867, well, that's a long time. You might, you might have some, some abilities. So Dewar's Illegal Smooth, a brand new world product from Dewar's bringing together classic honeyed. And what did I say? It says, hun I always say it tastes like honey top white bread crust. Honeyed and fruity house style of Dewar's blend and adding the unique layer of flavor from the mezcal cask. It's finished in mezcal casks and it's age eight years, which is twice as long as Dewar's age four years, the original white label. Funny thing about Dewar's, Back in the 1930s, it was aged eight years, and it was 86.6 proof. Now it's aged four years, and it's only 80 proof. That's really not my problem. Do they make longer age doers? Yeah, 12 year now, still 80 proof. Do they make stronger proofs? Oh, I'm pretty sure. Johnny Walker Blue Label is an unrivaled masterpiece, an exquisite combination, exquisite combination of Scotland's rarest and most exceptional whiskeys. An extraordinary whiskey for extraordinary occasions. Or they could have said, or for afternoon taste challenges. <laughs> um, could some of the whiskeys in the Johnny Walker Blue be very young, like say four or five years old, three years old? Yes, they could be. And some of the whiskeys could be 60, 70 years old. That's why they don't put an age statement. You're not required to put an age statement in the United States, unless the whiskey is less than four years old. So if it's less than four, you got to put an age statement. But if it's over four, you don't have to. Okay, so um, you say, but that's scotch. It's from Scotland. I know, but they're selling it in the United States. So the requirement is if you're selling it in the United States, you got to put an age statement if it's younger than four years. Anyway, it's a blend of a whole bunch of different ages. On to the taste challenge. First to smell. We already know they're both deep gold. Got my mouth open. They say you should have your mouth open when you smell whiskey. Yeah, because you can pick up the fumes on your tongue. You can actually taste the whiskey with your tongue without tasting it. You know, you can smell it on your tongue. You're, what you're doing is they got molecules in the air and you're tasting that. Take an inhalation, you'll taste it. <sighs> honey. Well, if it has the honey nose, that's making me think it's the doer's illegal smooth because they have that honey top white bread crust. Commerce Ozzy. Cheers, Ron. Cheers to you. King of the Dots, also known as Gee. I'm not going to blow your cover, Gary. I'm not going to say your name, Gary. My liver is alive and well. It is for today. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that smoke. Oh, that smoke. Which in this case is meaningless because they're both smoky. City Illegal Mezcal will, will, will have a smoky, but I remember it having a smoky taste. I don't recall that in the nose. I recall that honey in the nose. That has the honey. Now in the flavor, the, 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 the um, the uh, illegal smooth is going to have the honey top white bread crust and bell pepper. They say that green bell pepper. <clears throat> they even show a picture of a bell pepper. I'm like, good grief. The Johnny Walker, it just tastes like cereal grains, you know, just like corn, barley, oats, <clears throat> wheat, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and smoke. You say, uh-uh, it's 226 dollars. It's super complex. Uh, it doesn't really taste too complex to me. In fact, I don't find it tastes much more complex than Highland Mist, which I can get for $6.49 a bottle, or I used to be able to get it for $6.49 a bottle. <coughs> no, come to think of it, I think Total Wine and More still has it for that crazily low price, $6.49. Now, I didn't say it was work. It's good. See, I say complex, the same level. Now, the flavor quality, the 
Johnny Walker Blue Label clearly has a much better flavor. Love smoke in any form and anything. Maybe that's why scotch is not my, my, my thing. Yeah. I was eating smoked hogshead cheese yesterday. Did I love it? Uh, yeah. Because it has smoke in it. Okay. Taste time. Are you ready for this? I am. Let's go. Remember, that's what the car said in 1978. Let's go. Because they like the night nightlife, baby. Uh, oh, well, well, hello there, little scotchy scotch. It tastes like grain alcohol. You're saying, oh boy, grain alcohol. Yeah, but with a lot more honey. A little bell pepper, a little honey topped white wheat bread, assorted grains topped off with that strange weirdness from the mezcal bent rolls and a bunch of dough, a bunch of bread dough, which invariably is coming from the single malt whiskeys that are blended in with this product. Now, I know somebody's gonna say, single malt, you said it was blended, you said it was blended. That's right, genius. It's blended with single malts and grain whiskey. Gary says, I outgrew all scotch. It must need more smoke. My best guess. More smoke. You better go drink some Ardbeg 10. You're going to find out about smoke. Hello from Northfield, New, Jer New Hampshire. Hope all is well down there in Louisiana, says Craig. I think it is, more or less, and it's warm. It's like 66 Next week, they say it might get to 77. <laughs> Tonight, it's going to get down to the low, cold temperature of 58. I love smoked fish and smoked cheese. Yeah, I like to get that canned smoked herring, smoked cheese. Yeah. I got some wings from the air for the air fryer. Going to have a hurricane with you. Okay, mackerel. I'm having an ice house, says Commerce Ozzy. Oh, good. I've got some in my fridge. Bottled, you know, bottled. The fancy pants. Let the good times roll cars. <clears throat> well, Gary, you know, you can let them take you up in the air. You can let them brush your rock and roll hair if you want them. Taste. Oh, it, it's starting to smell like bread dough. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, doers, doers, doers. You gave it a good shot. You gave it a good effort, doers. But you got beat 55 to 3. <laughs> and they let you kick a field goal with two two seconds left. Kind of like, um, you know, they let you get down the field so you could kick a field goal. But you got killed. You got murdered. You got massacred. Here comes the Kansas City Southern. Sound like it's going westbound. Westbound and down. I eat the canned smoked herring quite often, says Commerce Ozzy. Craig, ha ha. It's been under 20 degrees when I leave for work in the mornings at 3.30 a.m. That sounds like some kind of misery I would like to avoid, but I've been through it. Westbound. From New Orleans to Baton Rouge, heading up to Baton Rouge. That's when I was calling an operator, trying to track down a line. S somewhere down around Baton Rouge. Okay. Somebody had a busted flat in Baton Rouge. It was waiting on a train. All right. Oh, baby. Nineteen degrees. Jim Croce. Yeah. No, I was thinking of the Grateful Dead. Operator. Can you help me? Can you help me, please? All right. Oh, what a whiskey. Oh, what a jewel. 
Oh, what an incredible situation. Oh, baby. That's what uh, Karen Carpenter said. Remember, she said, oh, baby. Baby, 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 baby. I love you. I really do. But that was long ago and oh, so far away. Man, she fell in love with you before the second show. Uh -oh. All right, man, enough playing around. And Chris Christopherson, you're hard to keep up with. Oh, yeah, Chris Christopherson. As we learned on the train, Carpenter Superstar. Oh, yeah, Carpenters. I heard of them. Um, man, I used to know this lady named Dawn. They used to call her Delta Dawn, you know, it's like. And I, I knew so many people. Man, the way I feel drinking this right now, I feel like I'm on top of the world, looking down on creation. Rest in peace, Karen. Dude, it's all working together, drinking music for me. Drinking music, drinking music. Yeah, look out, look out, the candy man. Here he comes, and he's gone again. Pretty lady ain't got no friends to the... Candyman comes around again. Oh, man. If you want to get techno, like Larry Holmes said in 1985, if you want to get techno, Rocky Marciana couldn't hold my jock strap. But if you want to get techno, they're both really good. They both really good. And that's why I said the Johnny Walker was a 95. That's why I said the illegal mascara was a 94, 95, 94. That's so close. That's so close. Same size bottle, same proof, 80. There's only one little problem. One major little significantly large problem. One is $20 a bottle. One is at least $220 a bottle, if you're lucky. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really want to pay $220 a bottle for any kind of whiskey or beer or wine and the FBI. So, Michael, we're bigger than U.S. Steel. I don't care. I'm drink I I'm he just didn't care. Nikki didn't care. He just didn't care. All right, anyway. It's awesome and everything, you know, it's smoky, smoky, but it's really not that great. <laughs> you say, oh, what is this? What a, what a, what a downer, man. You're a real downer. Debbie Downer. I'm not a downer. I'm just saying it's not that great. You say, well, you scored it a 95. 95 ain't that great of a score. You say 95 out of 100. That's not that great of a score, in my opinion. Not great would be like 105 over 100. 105 over 100. You know, that's what the Johnny Walker Blue Label ought to be. 105 over 100. But no. It's only a 95. Helen Reddy. Yeah. <clears throat> she was a woman. You could hear her roar. All right, uh, Larry Holmes beat Butterbean when he was an old, good, good old, old, good boxer. Yeah, Butterbean. Butterbeans grow on the vine. All right, this is the doers. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is, not that, this is not that far apart. This is like real close. Like in that movie Apocalypse Now, he's close. He's real close. You know, so... Been my boss. I think the doers wins, even if it loses, it wins. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, 
the Johnny Walker's like a little bit better. I was saying it was killing it. It was at first. When I first tasted it, it was like a blowout. But that's the problem with these whiskeys. You got to let, you got to take your time. You got to rest on it. You got to think on it as you drink on it. Like Stevie Nicks said, don't listen to her. Listen through her. She said that in 1981. So you got to drink through the product. You say, oh boy, here we go. Metaphysics again. That's right. You got to have a metaphysical approach, an esoteric approach to these products. I mean, you don't have to, but if you're if you're riding along in the buggy with me, you do. So I think as I let them rest and breathe, the dew was caught up. And then the Johnny Walker Blue was not that much better. Oh, it was marginally better, but it was not appreciably better. And that's why you got to go about 30 minutes because you could start off and you'd be in a big rush like, oh, let me hear. It's like, hey, YouTube. Hey, guys. Hey, Hey, friends who I don't ever want you contacting me. That's how some of these YouTube people are. Uh, let's all have a great time together. Don't forget to do, 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 do. And get my T-shirt. I was like, oh, yeah, I really want to buy your T-shirt and, and all of that stuff. But the, I'm not in a big rush. So I'm, I'm metaphysically approaching this. Now, in a, in a metaphysical sense, it's not that different. Now, I do think this is the doer's. It's a winner because of the price. You got to, people say, you shouldn't consider price. Well, yeah, I should consider price when I'm considering it because that's what I'm thinking about. Most people got to buy their stuff. I don't know who's giving you all your whiskey or beer or wine or potato chips, assuming I would want to review that at any point. So um, go out and pay $226. It's your money. It doesn't bother me. I'm going to go stick with the $20, tell you the truth. Now, before I call, I'm going to read the comments, then we're rolling out with the top back. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's what we're going to do. We're going to roll out with the top. Rest in peace, Phil Spector. You've, you've list that love feeling. Okay. Phil Spector. I remember Phil Spector said in a movie one time, I never did nothing to nobody. And then the guy was like, no, you never did nothing to nobody. You got some somebody to do it for you. Okay. And then he said, I ain't going to kill you, man. Hey, Ron, who did you like better, David Lee Roth or Sammy Van, Sammy Hagar and Van Halen? Well, <laughs> oh, what a question. Obviously, I liked David Lee Roth. But I only liked him like a thousand times better. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like way better, just like a hundred thousand times more. B-52's Butterbean. Ha <laughs> Big bird over my house. All right. I don't think I've ever heard you speak of ACDC. Just curious. Are you a fan? No, I'm not. Because there's a long way. It, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. To say the truth. Uh, King of the Dots said equal Roth and Hagar. So you got to call it as you see it. I prefer Roth. No question. It's all up to y'all, you know. Cheers, Jay. Happy Friday, says Joe. Joe. Hey, Jojo. King of the Dots. El Correcto. I tasted no difference between blue and red, but I felt it in my pocketbook. Are you going to feel it there? Okay, Gary, here we go. Um, this is the doers, I pray. <laughs> I mean, if I don't, I, I, it's the doers. D doers. I knew it was, but um, I was terrified if I'd be wrong. Anyway, I mean, yeah, I could tell them apart. Oh, yeah, ha, 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 what an expert I am. I'm so awesome. You know, oh, yeah, it's great. It's great. Havana's great. You know, how do you say banana daiquiri? But anyway, um, I mean, I'm going to pay $200 more for something that's one percentage point better. Uh, long story short, short story long. I don't think so. Believe me, you believe you me. Okay. Johnny Walker Blue Label. It sounds like I'm ripping it and dogging on it and ta saying terrible things. I'm not doing any of those things. Still the best scotch you ever tried. Easily, if you say, what's the best scotch you ever tried? 
Johnny, I'm talking about blended now. Johnny Walker Blue Label. Without any hesitation. But there's one little problem. It's the best, but it's not by much. It's just a little bit better. So why would I pay $200 more for something that's a little bit better? You know the answer? I wouldn't do that. No way. You could. I'm not. I did it because I wanted to see what it was like. I bought it. I got the blue label. I bought it. Okay, I'm happy. I'm not, I'm not angry. Okay. So I got some little guitars to go play. Let me get some water and I'm going to close out. I got some little guitars I have to go play. Because I live on these mean streets, you know, every time I'm trying to get to Panama. So y'all understand what I'm dealing with. I let women and children go first. You know what I'm saying? When I'm drinking these, I'm not drinking, I don't drink whiskey. When I'm tasting these whiskeys, I dance the night away. You know, that's how I am. I, that's, that's, that's my eruption, you know. That's my eruption. And I, I, I'm unanimous in that. Like Captain Peacock and... Uh, Mr. Spoon and all of those people. All right. So are you being served? Thanks for watching this video production. Gary said, I mean, Gary, some, you know how these internet people. Thank goodness I canceled football parties this year. One of my friends would only drink Jack. He's talking about Jack and Jill and would finish the bottle. He lived next door. Friends like this get expensive. And that's what the mamas and the papas said in 1971. They said, people like us.